Fiduma Daib is the Kenyan-born Somali presidential hopeful who knows that she's facing an uphill battle, but she says that she's no stranger to a challenge and hopes to defy conservative norms. Now, Fadumo Daib is the first woman to set her sights on the Somalian presidency. She's determined to stand up to a system that's long sidelined women. After being forced to flee Kenya, her Somali-born family moved to Finland as refugees. There, she got an education, only learning to read at 14. She later went on to work for the UN in Liberia and study in the US. All the while, she was set on eventually encouraging positive change in Somalia. Now, she was in Paris for a conference on the role of African women. I earlier asked her about the hurdles she faced and her political aspirations. We won't have free and fair elections in 2016. We will continue having 4.5 clan system based electoral um, system, which means the four clans plus the minority clans sharing power. And this is a system that actually shuts out women and the youth. The challenges that I would face in a system like that is the level of corruption is very, very high because 275 members of parliament are the ones who will choose the next president, and they often choose through payment, and you have to pay quite a lot of money. The other challenge is the challenge of um, it's a male dominated society. We have, um, for example, Al Shabaab, we have other groups who feel that a woman's place is either at home or in a grave. And if she cannot stay you know, at home, they will make sure she gets into a, a grave. And then we also have really um, the issue of um, a whole generation that knows nothing else other than war. You know, they don't, they've not had the uh, opportunity to study and, and to, to see um, a stable. Um, country. If you'll excuse me, it, it does not sound likely that you're going to get very far. So is it for you as important to be seen to participate? My only objective is not really to get into office. It's not to obtain power. My objective is to make sure that we address the inequities that we have in Somalia, the inequality that we have in Somalia. And you do that through instigating social change. What I'm doing is part of that. Getting into office or running to get into office is one of that, because there is a prevalent belief that no woman, or even girls, should not aspire to this kind of um, positions. And so by really coming forward you know, and, and, and doing this, and actually um, being a very credible candidate at that, if we had free and fair elections today, I would like to believe that you know, I would stand a very, very good chance. But unfortunately, we're going through a very corrupt system.